it started when I was young. Alcohol was a favorite around the house. Cigarettes was a favorite. To put me to sleep, they would put beer in my bottle. My mom, she drank, my dad drank, my brother drank, my sister drank. So guess what? My drug habit escalated from alcohol to marijuana. Ended up, I got introduced to powder, cocaine, and that led to the depression. My childhood in Afghanistan was, it was good. You know, we had our own house. My father was working until we got Taliban. Well, being eight years old uh, in a war zone, it was, it was really horrible. It was terrifying. I was really scared to even go out, even to go shop with my mom, even to go to the stores, because you never know when you're coming home or not. My dad, you know, decided in the middle of the night, left everything, everything that we had, we just leave behind. And we just had to run. During my dark time, um, I hit rock bottom. I found brave words when I reached out to Beth. I knew I had to do something that day or else die. The purpose of Brave Words is to provide a space for women that are overcoming trauma to heal and to learn skills while they are healing. Many of them are trafficking survivors, they are domestic violence survivors, they are overcoming um, addiction or like mental health challenges. Some of them uh, recently released from prison and they come in, I feel like, broken and kind of in this survival mode. Uh, the women are coming from um, dark places. Places where I would say to survive, maybe you shut parts of yourself down. And so when they come here, uh, that is, is being challenged in a way by tapping into creativity, um, creating something. You're turning on parts of yourself that maybe you turned off or you didn't even know existed. The mission at BraveWorks is to heal the heart of the women that we work with, to train them with new useful skills that they can use in the workforce, to connect them with other women that are in the community, and lastly, to make them know that their work is valuable. In our program, we do see a lot of women that come in from um, all over the world. Being here creates this support group that they wouldn't find anywhere else, and they didn't know existed until stepping foot into Room. When I found, you know, Brave Work, that's when I get, you know, to know all the women from all over the country. At the beginning, I thought that was, that was only me. That was only me who going through everything. But then, you know, hearing their story, it was like, I'm not alone. It's like, as like, you know, therapy for me. Being, you know, knowing everybody else and getting so much, you know, support from them. The feeling of making a bracelet is like um, a release. All the negativity that I have or I feel, not only in that day, but in for the past, I can use a beat and say it's going away. It's gone. Thank you, Lord. Each bead represents a part of me when I make a bracelet or a necklace. Being in the brave work, I get so many resources. That's, you know, something that you don't get anywhere else. I think, you know, finding out, you know, about the employment, you know, that where you can apply for jobs. And so right now I'm doing, I'm working with them as a translator. I love my job. I love helping other women. I feel like empowered. Really, as a woman, I feel strong. 
I feel like I can speak up finally and I feel free. At BraveWorks, they helped me to achieve one of my goals. They helped me to budget. I love budgeting now. And I paid off my car, got this apartment by the grace of God. They really have shown me whatever your needs are at BraveWorks, they will find a way so you can meet your goals. Wherever you are in your journey, whatever struggles you're facing, whatever flaws you have, whatever that brokenness is, we come here in this safe space and we're saying, it's okay. I see you, I hear you, I value you, I love you. Let's come together as a group and let's accomplish these goals. Anytime you come from a traumatic situation, whether that is trafficking or domestic violence, you do lose your voice. You lose control, you lose your power, and you give that to somebody else. When they're in this room um, or in our transformation space, they realize maybe I didn't have a voice at first, but now I do. And like, this is the way that I'm gonna use it. And we provide them space to actually like use it and to empower them or like praise them for using it. Oh, I like dressing up now since I graduated from BraveWorks. Uh, BraveWorks showed me how powerful I can be, how beautiful I can be, how successful I can be. Just look at me. I feel like I'm at the time of my life that I'm really feeling happy. You know, finally I can say I'm in peace. I'm safe. I'm in peace and I'm happy.